What's up guys, we're back with another first time reaction. So today we got a man named, what's his name again? Matt Reif, okay? So this one's called Milf and Cookies. Now, I don't know what to expect from this one because I've never reacted to any of his stuff. He like blew up like six months ago, a year ago. I never watched any of his stuff, never, no podcast, anything. So this is the first time I'm reacting to anything by Matt Reif. So this is gonna be very interesting guys, actually. I'm very interested for myself. So the description says, one of Matt Reif's most famous crowd work interactions with the lovely Christina from Des Moines. Is that in Canada or is that in somewhere in America? Her kind heart and super good looks charmed both Matt and the internet. We're still waiting on that cookie recipe. Okay, so obviously, you know, I don't know what to expect from this one, but this one's gonna be crazy, guys. Drop a comment down below. Matt Reif blew up on the internet six months ago for like his looks and stuff like that. You know, people love this kind of guy, you know, women, especially older women, they were saying. Uh, he had a lot of controversy recently as well, where he got like canceled or something. I, I actually have to look into it more, guys. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that story, but first we're gonna start with this one. Let's get it. You seem frustrated. We thought maybe a gift would help. I seem frustrated a gift maybe help? Maybe after the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you so much. What is this? Well, don't clap. It could be a bomb. We don't know. We don't know yet. I came to Iowa and I guess. Like, That's because of the Listen, guys, I've never ended a show early before, but I, I'm sure you would all understand if I had to wrap things up, right? There's, hold on, there's one more thing in here. Cookies! Are you kidding me? The blowjob's gonna have a hard time beating this. this is it's like the perfect consistency, too. Oh my God. Thank you so much. What's your name? Christina, you are so hot. Thank you so much. Oh my God. You're a grandma? Man. Let's put that shower chair to use. There's already plastic on the furniture. Let's make a mess, you know? How old are you? Say it. Say it. <laughs> this is dirty talk to me. Come on. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. 40, 45? Are you serious? Are you from are you from here? I actually genuinely thought she was, and this is gonna sound quite rude. I thought she was a little bit I thought she was like 50. Really? We gotta get you out of here. Immediately. We gotta get you the fuck out of here. Wait, who she she's talking to the blonde one or the brunette one? She's talking to the blonde girl, right? Immediately. <laughs> Yeah, get you the fuck out of here. Minneapolis, at least. Let's just get you out. Let's just get you down the road. You're not married or anything? You bunch of fucking idiots. Oh my god, you local morons not marrying this beautiful woman who makes great cookies. Stupid. I'm so sorry. What? Are you divorced? How long were you married for? 16 years. 16 years? Ah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Four. Oh, what? That's enough, though, right? <laughs> this isn't really that funny, though. I'm not gonna lie, guys. He's, he's like moderately funny. This isn't like that hilarious. You have your tubes tied? You do? I'm gonna fucking move in the morning. Yeah. Uh. Those are your sisters? You have three sisters? Nine? <laughs> Would you like to have such a hot older sister? Does she know she's hot? Does she know that? No. She doesn't? No. Good. <laughs> Keep her humble. You're nothing, Christina. <laughs> You're gonna be stuck here in Iowa forever unless... Unless... Well, well, that's gaslighting. <laughs> What's that? What was it? What did you want to show me? Was it a bank statement? What was it? <laughs> your daughter? <laughs> this is your daughter? Show us. 
Are you serious? No, nobody else can see her, actually. This is, I don't want Iowa to know she's out here. This is, this is your daughter? How old is she? This is the 21 year old? This is a very tough decision to make, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been put in this position, but. Does he mean like to choose between him, uh, his, the daughter, or the mom? He's in Jacksonville. He's in Jacksonville, Florida? I'll be down there. Maybe <laughs> later on this year. She looks exactly like you. This is insane. Yes, she does. She's gorgeous. All right, so I'm going to date you for the next 10 years, and then we'll, we'll trade up. Fuck, this is about to be the most uncomfortable Thanksgiving I've ever been to in my life. Damn. Yeah, because if you taste this good, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys. Like, this isn't that funny. Like, I, I don't understand. It's got 7 million views in 6 months. Bro, this dude is just raking in the cash on YouTube. Like... Bro, that's just so much money. He's probably made more money than this clip that he has in his whole flipping, you know, tour that he's done. Like, it's very respectful comedy. It's not like roasting or anything like. <laughs> Let's keep going. What's your biggest fear? Uh, losing my kids. Losing your kids. You might find them. <laughs> That's bad. But if the one in Jacksonville goes missing, mind your business. <laughs> She's in good hands. <laughs> Got your phone? All right, let's swipe out of Instagram and see what else is in here. Now let's go through a photo album. Let's, um... No, wait. <gasps> This is very like feminine comedy, guys, I'm not gonna lie. This isn't like Richard Pryor or like, you know, Lee Evans or Frankie Boyle, one of these guys. This is very like feminine comedy. This is like American f woman comedy, right? Here's the thing, here's the thing. I won't open it if you just tell me what's in there. You had a lump in your breast? I had a mammogram. You had a mammogram recently. I'm best friends with my kids. Mm -hmm. And so I FaceTimed my daughter, the hot one. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not going to ask for ugly people's advice. Yeah, I totally get it. So there's screenshots of her and I FaceTimed me. With just a tit out. <laughs> Fuck. Because, like, you know it's in the palm of your hand. <laughs> Did you get the results back? Yes. You're okay? I'm okay. Need a second opinion? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I kinda knew that joke was coming. Text messages. Text Maggie. Is that Maggie your daughter? FaceTimer. <laughs> Maggie, that is not your angle. <laughs> Where are you right now? Hung over his shit. <laughs> oh my god. Do you, <laughs> do this right now. Do, you, do, you, do you know how hot your mom is? I know, I know. You're well aware of your competition, right? <laughs> like, you know you can't bring anybody home. I know. Um, your mom was stupid enough to, to give me her phone and I was going through your guys' text history. And, uh, gross. <laughs> but I, I'm, glad, I'm glad she got that lump checked out, though. I checked it out. Everything's totally okay. Second opinion. Everything's totally all right. Can you see your kitties? Sure did. Sure did. And, um. Well, you're a lucky motherfucker. I don't know. Hi, right, Maggie, say bye to your mom real quick. I bye, you. Mom. I love you. Bye, bye Maggie. <laughs> Bro, 
like, so I've never seen a stand up comedian with someone else's phone on stage, though, so that's pretty unique. I actually kind of like that. But this is very, like, this guy kind of comes off as, I don't want to say it, but let's say attracted to men. Like, I'm not saying that as in an like, insulting way, obviously not, but I thought he was that, like, when I first started watching or whatever, but he's not, right? He's a straight guy, like, all the women love him type of thing. Uh, how old is this guy? It's clear, though. though. What do you mean? They fucked them up. What do you mean they fucked him up? Who fucked up your titties? The doctor? Do you have fake boobs? Fuck. Um. Prove it. What do you. They make sounds. Like. Like what? Like. Like what? What? What sound do fake titties make? Cha-ching. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming on this date with Christina and I. I hope you guys have thoroughly enjoyed watching me ruin this family. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the fuck? You're lying. That did not just happen. You, was that a real thing? <laughs> Sounds like a dog toy. Her boobs sound like a dog toy, you guys. What the hell? She has a squeaky toy in her titties. And you talking to a doll. That's <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh. What? I don't think that's a mistake. I think that's the best thing to have ever happened. You can get squeaky toys inside your titties? Can you customize them like a Tesla horn? What made you get them done? Four kids. Four kids? You breastfeed? Two of them. Two of them? Damn. Cause you know it goes great with cookies. Silicone. I will say the way he brought it back to the milk, that's perfect. That's actually a perfect stand up routine, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty, pretty perfect, guys. <clears throat> Absolutely fire. I thought that it was very smart, like, and stuff like that, but I don't know if it was hilarious to me. I'm sure if you were, you know, uh, a. M I L F or a mom or something like that. I'm sure you would have found that funny. That's kind of like mom kind of joke stuff like that. But yeah, pretty funny guys. Very smart that he brought it back to the milk at the end. I like that milk and cookies. That's actually pretty fire. Let's see what the comments say because I've never seen any of this before. Man, I really hope I can see one of your shows in person from Spain. The lovely woman was so upfront and shared her personal story. Didn't mind about people laughing. Dude can talk to one table for almost 10 minutes, yet keep it respectful and entertaining the entire audience. To be able to laugh through this, the best thing about this clip is 100% organic, off the line. Yeah, he's very good at improv. Like, he would be good in like a flipping improv type of setting. But yeah, absolutely fire, guys. Let me know what you all think. First time ever watching Matt Reif. And yeah, man. I've never watched this up before. I've just heard about all his stuff, so it's really interesting to see that. Yeah, I love you guys all. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.